But this is the way it sounds with everything added. What's going on, y'all? It's Dreamer again, GotBetterBeats.com. And here, today, we are going to be going over uh, a mix breakdown. I'm going to just pretty much kind of show you guys how I mix this track. And the reason why I do feel like it's important for me to tell you why, how I mix this track is because it's so different from, you know, my other mixes because the style is different, but it was exactly what I needed. If you guys want me to go over how I made the beat, I can do that. That would be in another video because I actually did the beat in Machine and transferred it over into Cubase. So with that being said, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play this track for you. Okay, so so as you can see, it's a pretty straightforward type track. Um, it kind of it kind of puts me in the field of like uh like a Rick Ross Maybach type music just because of this loop right here. This loop right here is just. So that right there is amazing. So, so what I'll do is I'll start off. I'll start off with how I set up my mix sessions. I really don't. If it's like as you can see, it's not really a lot. It's pretty much about sixteen tracks, you know. And what I do with that is I break it down into. Let me. I break it down into pretty much drums, keys slash melody and bass slash 808 i know there's a lot of you know i mean i could go into detail as far as breaking it down into you know because i don't have a lot of percussion and stuff like that so i just kind of put that in the drums if it works and with the bass i found that it is actually to me it's just you know it gives me a little bit more flexibility as far as you know adding some effects to the to the bass bus as you can see i have well, on on all the tracks, I went ahead and started using the NLS, the um, excuse me, the summon plugin, and I like it. It adds a nice bit of saturation. So as I gain stage, I add just a little bit of drive to each one on here, and you can actually put them in a group. So that would be, definitely be a different video as well. But if you guys want to see a video, I mean, you can actually you know switch from like a SSL style to um i'm not sure which one this is um i don't think that's the audience i don't know which one that is but and the neve so this one if you know what it is put it in the comments so what i do is so i break it down into those three buses i have my drums and you hear what that sounds like so let's just start here on how i group the drums
And and if you listen to it on headphones, you're probably thinking what I'm what I was first thinking at first. Because I kept the drums kind of dark, you know, and just just having like a nice sample feel. You know, it's it's a nice punchy, um, it's a nice punchy kick, and you know, like even the cymbals aren't really like high pitch. I could probably add on just you know a little bit more to that but i kind of like the way that sounds to me it went with the theme just kind of dark so as you can see first i have my the nls bus i have my cla plug-in and that just kind of adds just a little bit of punch if i turn that off and to me they just kind of glued it together a little bit it kind of brought the nuances of the drums up. Like it, it almost sounds like it's a, it's kind of a drum room. Kind of how the, the sounds kind of mesh together a little bit. Well, the snares and the and the cymbals do the kick. It does sound digital. And from there, what I did was I added on uh, the Sheps seventy three EQ plugin. And I kind of did it like a like an overhead, and that's really where I got a lot of a lot of that uh, that drum room sound. Because if I bypass this, you'll definitely if I bypass this, you'll definitely hear. It. Sorry about that. So as you can hear, like that sounded kind of it sounded really dry and plain. But when I activate it, it actually kind of gives it almost like a, a meshed a meshed sound, like to where everything seems like it's kind of in one room. So I guess that's just you know some of that vintage plug-in magic, a little bit of saturation involved with the EQ. So from there, my next group is the keys. Or the melody, which is pretty much like that. That uh, the first sound that I played you, that was a sample, but I actually played these keys. And one is um, a EP, and another one is a piano. And as you can see, I panned them. I panned them pretty much left and right. Not hard left and hard right because i wanted them to kind of bleed together just a little bit i wanted to make sure that it was open enough to just really make room for the vocals and with that i added on uh, uh another shep 73 i'm starting to see that i went real vintage on the plugins but it, it definitely worked because it was a different mixing approach for me Okay, so, and honestly, if I take the Shep 73 off, we'll definitely hear the presence kind of die down a little bit. So it really just gives it like a, a nice vibrance and, and, as, and as well, I have a NLS bus on this as well with the Neve plug-in and putting the drive up to about six. And lastly, it's my my bass. I'm normally an 808 guy, but I didn't want to. To me, I didn't want to make this. Uh, I didn't. I didn't want to make it too. You know, too too trappy and all that i think i think i did the right thing by just really finding a, a really good bass sound okay and i'm not on the group 
I'll get to the single sound. As you can see, I went with the uh, NLS again. And I noticed that the mic to me, like for the lower, it really gives a nice thickness and warmth to the bottom end. So usually on my drums and basses, I normally try this one first and kind of AB the other and go from there. And I actually used the, the, uh, the stock Steinberg amp simulator and just kind of tweaked it a little bit because it wasn't like this. This preset may not be like this. So. Okay, so we'll get to the fun stuff. Okay, so with the loop, let me see if just a little bit of EQ, a little bit of dip here, and a little bit of dip on the top end. Because it does have it does have like a like its own saturation to it, and which was getting a little harsh at once I started adding plugins on. So I wanted to kind of just kind of dip those dip those uh siblings parts off and this one is this is the loop pretty much kind of process for the verse because i wanted to keep the uh the same the same rhythm going and the same vibe but i didn't want it to get in the way of the vocals so what i'll do is i'll play these two solo but you'll hear how how it sounds filtered out So to me that 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 was a that was a perfect <clears throat> excuse me that was a perfect way to to kind of transition that because I actually I found another part of the sample but it really didn't keep the same it really didn't keep this the same thing you know the same vibe going like so it will go from this to this Oh, let me, let me, uh, bypass that. So, let me turn this up just a little bit. Okay, so, the reason why I have it turned down is because I do like some of the elements in it. That's why I kind of rolled off the, the top end and the low end because I love that synth kind of going in there because you can feel it, but you really can't hear it. But the drums in this was clashing with my drums and I really didn't want to, I didn't want to follow, you know, I didn't pretty much, I didn't want to copycat their drum pattern. I mean, to me, it really, you know, it really didn't have the same vibe as what I was going for. So. Let me know what you think in the comments. So, but I don't want to keep you guys too long with the um, with the uh, the EP. Nothing but the NLS plugin, so that's just adding just a little bit of saturation. Um, I added some vinyl to the piano just to kind of give it a warp, and this is a free plugin. So, if you guys don't have this. And you do want to have like, you know, you want to kind of give your samples or some parts like maybe like some imperfections. This is a really good plug in to to do that. So it's isotope vinyl. So really good plug in. I don't use it much, but it comes in handy when I do. And this was that second sample. So I just kind of kept it low behind everything. And nothing but the NLS and low and high filter, low and high pass. And this is a the hi hat. It's pretty much just a little bit of EQ on there. Do I have anything on the channel strip? Oh, I have 
some vintage compression and a little bit of saturation and I have reverb running through the effects scene. So just something really simple here. Cause I went for a really natural feel. So I actually kind of moved it over where it's not lining up right with the grid. And this is the open hi-hat. Pretty much the same thing except for no saturation added, just a vintage compression and EQ. And a little bit of reverb. And this right here was just, this was like a kick, but it was something about it that I made, that it made me kind of, I just kind of added it in and it added in like a really cool, you know, so hearing it by itself, it's a little, you know, it's a little wolfy. <laughs> If that's a word, like, you know, it, it's, it's, it sounds a little muffy or muffled, but um, it kind of fit in the mix real good. And this is a nice symbol. And these are some chimes. And I found also found these uh these horns that went with it and they just kind of fit they just kind of fit in the mix honestly this is the bass again and nothing but the nls a little eq dip no channel strip plugins. But with the Kramer, I went with the, the dirty bass and I tweaked it just a little bit. And the snare, I had to do some work to, to get it where I wanted it. So. So, as you can see, I have my NLS going my vintage compression, um, just a little bump and, and high and low pass. The envelope shaper and the tube saturation and some reverb. And I turned it way down because it was, you know, for some reason I could not get it to really sit how I heard it in my head, but it worked out. And this is another snare that I added in just for flavor. And the toms, I, I kind of added these in and I tweaked them just a bit. Because after I added them in and I started mixing, I, I thought I might have added in the wrong type of toms, but it turned out pretty good. I put an amp simulator on them just to kind of really make them sound old and sampled. Um, the CLA. And I put a little bit of a delay on there as well. And no channel strip plugins. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll, play, I'll play them by themselves so you can actually hear how everything, how it started, as well as how it sounds now. So this is without the other plugins. This is the NLS. It's really not going to change the sound <coughs> much. It's just a saturation. So this sounds pretty, pretty regular. All right, so that is with the amp simulator plugin. It kind of thins it out. I'll play that one more time. 
this is the CLA compression. And just a delay. So with all that added in, I'll play it for you. And this is how it sounds. And if you are interested in beats like this and you may want a custom beat, you can go to my contact this page at gotbetterbeats.com. Let me know what you need and, and I'll get it worked out for you. And if you actually want to release this beat or you want to buy this beat, this is currently on my website. But this is the way it sounds with everything added. So I hope you I hope you guys really enjoyed this uh, mix breakdown. If you really don't care for the mix breakdowns, leave it down in the comments. If you do, leave it in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe, and make sure that you are leaving requests. If there is anything Cubase related, uh, I mean, even if it's just beat making related, it doesn't really have to be for a specific software or hardware. And I really try to see if, what I can do to help you guys out. And like I always say, I appreciate you guys, man. I, I, I see a lot more, you know, engagement and comments and stuff like that. And it really helps me keep these videos going. So, and I know how much YouTube has helped me over the years. So I would like to definitely be one of the people that can help you guys. So keep that music coming. I hope to hear, hear your music soon. And I'll see you on the website, gotbetterbeats.com. <laughs> Peace out.